everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. Well, I went shopping again and this time I went to three different stores. I went to my local Dollar Tree and Walmart, but when vacationing in California, I decided to go back to my Joann's in my old neighborhood. Okay, let's get started. When I went to Joann's, I went to the old location because I didn't know it had moved, but it hadn't moved very far away, just another mile. So when I went into it, it was completely different. I didn't see any of the old friends that I knew in there, so I was a little disappointed. Also, it wasn't very well stocked, arranged very well. It was a little sloppy, so I was disappointed but I did find some great bargains. And this is their fall fabric. And it was on sale. I don't remember how much off it was, but it was a really good sale. Now, I bought quite a bit of this one. It looks like I might have bought over a yard. The other pieces here, I uh, only purchased one yard. They also had a sale on their quilting fabric, and these are the pieces I purchased. I purchased one yard. This has a red, white, and blue patriotic theme. I like this because I love plaid and striped prints, and this is really subtle. I thought these two fabrics would really be great for some spring projects. This is Joann's Home Essentials line of fabric, and it's inexpensive decorator fabric. And again, they were having a sale on it. This has an autumn fall theme to it, and I thought it would be great to make either a beautiful table runner or some fall pillows. This is the mesh rolls that you can use for making wire wreaths. And then down here is some beautiful decorative ribbon with a Halloween theme on it. I got these for a steal. They had a huge sale on them. If you buy one, you get the other three for uh, only 25% of the original cost. So it was a great bargain on all of these. I had a really great time at Dollar Tree. Now this is the local Dollar Tree where I live. All we have is Dollar Tree and Walmart. That's the only place to shop. So I picked up these buttons. I love buttons. I collect them. I use them on a variety of projects. And so these have more of your spring colors in it. Then I also bought this Baker's Twine. I have no idea what to do with it, but I thought it was kind of pretty and I probably will use it on something. If any of you know what you're supposed to do with Baker's Twine, will you leave a comment below? Because I'm really curious. This is felt. Now, it's not the best quality. It's really, really thin. Doesn't feel very sturdy. I will be using it, but I might be using it in lining something else. This piece of felt is very thick, and I think that um, this is more usable on the outside of a project. If you ever come into my house, you will see scarecrows all over the place during the fall season, because I like to collect them. It's kind of hard to find really nicely made ones anymore, so I really value the ones I have. But these I thought were so cute. I like to stick them in vases, flower arrangements, or even on gifts to someone, or your craft projects that you're making. And I bought two sets, and they were quite a bargain. For the longest time, I've been trying to get this gold or yellow mesh. Every time I go in, they're out. So I grabbed the last four that they had. This is some of the fall foliage that they still had in there, although it was getting pretty thin as far as the stock that they had on the shelf. They still didn't have much in Christmas, but I decided to grab these because I bought some earlier and just love them. So I picked up a few more. Plus, I'm always in need of things with leaves on it for a variety of projects. These are pumpkin wire wreaths, and I'm not going to be making anything this year with these, but they're always so hard for me to find. So when I saw them in there, I decided to grab two so that I'll have them for next year. I love to make things using these wooden 
pieces here. This is a pumpkin, an acorn. This is just a, a plaque. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. And then this is like a little painter's easel. Now let's take a look at some more. Now these, I will probably use them for some of my cross stitch projects because I like to make small little cross stitch pictures and mount them on things like this, giving them as gifts or even holding them or, excuse me, hanging them up on the wall in my own home. My last stop was Walmart and I really needed rubber bands. Now you're probably thinking, what do I use rubber bands for? I use them to wrap it around my fabric. My fabric is on cardstock and then I use the rubber band. Now rubber bands don't last forever, so if you're not using your fabric a lot, the rubber band is gonna wear out over time. I was disappointed they didn't really have the size that I wanted, but they only had three bags on the shelf. Normally it's just full, so I had to settle for these. Now my particular Walmart does have fabric and craft items. I feel very lucky because viewers are constantly telling me that their store doesn't carry it at all or their store is going to get rid of it. And I thought, oh no, I hope they don't get rid of it in my town. But I like these two pieces. It looks like something I could use on some Christmas projects, maybe as a border on a quilt or even on the back of a quilt. Here is a pre-cut piece of fabric with a fall theme and then here are fat quarters with fall themes. Now one of my viewers said that she was talking to someone working in the fabric department and she says Walmart was going to do away with their fabric off the bolt and go to only pre-cuts. That makes me sad too in some ways. In other ways it's kind of nice but I do enjoy getting extra fabric off of the bolt. Here are a couple of more of a little small wooden plaques and some stain for wood. And then I bought these little brushes to use with the stain. I, as I said earlier, I like doing cross stitch projects and mounting them on here. So I'm sure that's what I'll be doing. Now I picked these up where they sell their ribbons and trims and this is really pretty gold trim. I might use it on some Christmas projects. This one here in the middle, I've never seen anything like it before. It's like huge netting. I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I thought it was pretty cool looking. And then here is some ribbon with flowers on it, which would be great for a spring project. This was in their fall seasonal decor section. So I thought this was really fun. Could use them in flower arrangements. I use only artificial flowers. There's nothing real in my house because well, I live in the desert. Everything dries very quickly. So here's some fall leaves of a variety of types. And I go through these very fast every year. When I was looking at all of the Christmas little trims in their seasonal section. I was really disappointed at the cost. Some of these things were incredibly expensive. This was only 98 cents for each one of these trees, but most of their items were three, four, five dollars for each piece. This was a pretty good deal, $2.98 for all of these bows. They're great for little pack, uh, Christmas presents or other little projects that you're making. These gold leaves, which I just absolutely love, they have little clips on the back so you can clip it onto items. These are some mo more little bows. I actually found this in the craft section where they sell uh, bows for making little hair bands. I thought I'll probably use it on a Christmas present. And then here's different color raffia. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little shopping experience with me. I had a great time. My husband cried when he opened his wallet, but Oh well, I get that story from a lot of you. Now if you're interested in beginner sewing projects, a variety of types, please check below your YouTube screen in the description section. Scroll down to where you see show more or the down arrow and then you will see all the links appearing. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. 
If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.